I'm interested to see where Pollock plays because we've subbed off a striker for Scott Pollock and he, he does have goals in them and he looks quite far forward but we'll have to see. Here we go, Scott Pollock gets us underway here at Hewish Park, Yeovil kicking from right to left as we look nil. at it, Dorking nil, these sides have met here at Hewish Park earlier in the season in the FA Trophy, that finish nil nil is Matt Worthington tackles the goalkeeper, he wins the ball back, the goalkeeper needs to get back into his box and now Pollock Back to Worthington, Worthington with the shot. That goes out for a corner kick, does it? No, it's still in play. That wind is playing a part. Worthington by the corner flag. Goes off a defender and goes out for a corner. Superb. And Cooper and record are staying back. Jordan Maguire drew with the free kick and it's headed towards goal by Linton. Didn't have actually enough height on it, did it? Tackled by Charlie Cooper, but they still win it back. But Johnson is on the edge of the box. Good control from him. Now Maguire drew. Sprints away from his man. Dinks it towards Malachi Linton on the right-hand side. He does brilliantly, Malachi Linton. He needs some support, though. It's well defended by Frankham. Who out wide to record. It's a heavy touch, but he keeps it in. Towards Linton, it bounces nicely. Now Maguire Drew, can he shoot? And it just falls to the feet of Linton, who can't connect with it. Goes out for a goal kick to push him out. Freckleton picks it up on the halfway line. Better from Yeovil. Here's record. Good turn from Worthington. He shoots and it's palmed away by Lincoln. Again, not convincing. He has in a, in a more attacking sense. And he's just shored things up at the back. He's done sort of everything for Dorking. Challenge comes in from oh. Johnson. He's on oh. a yellow card, of course. Oh, it's, I don't know if he's going for his pocket yeah. here or going for the spray. Oh, it's really he's about hard to, to send him off, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And that is Chori Johnson. Second yellow card. 45 minutes played. Head in hands from oh. Chori Johnson. The challenge came in. It was a crunching challenge. There was no malice in it. But you can't do that on a yellow card. It was really late and then sort of unnecessary. But it wasn't. It wasn't a dangerous challenge. It was. Yeah, just very, very late and very quite similar to the first one actually. And that is. When it rains, it pours. When you're down the bottom of the league. And now Yeovil are facing the whole of the second half with 10 men. And they haven't taken their chances when they've had them. And they've got to defend this free kick. Woking have taken the lead at home to South End. Woking finishing the season very strongly indeed. Ball comes in towards Miguel Freckleton. And then Oluwabore is cleared off the line. Goes out for a corner kick. Yeovil pushing early in this second half. Freckleton on the far side. A little overrun with the wind, but he gets by the throw-in, does he? No, it falls nicely to Mewitt as he slips. Here comes Freckleton. Can he shoot? He takes a touch. And it's in! No. No. <laughs> it's past the pass. Oh. oh, my God, it just went wide. I think everyone was celebrating to my right-hand side. The way that just fell, it shows how the wind plays tricks on you. Yeah, to the corner. Here come Dorking now. Here's Bowerman, cuts inside, he's inside the box, that's a really good ball. They're going to have a chance to shoot, are they? No, they fluffed their lines, but at the second attempt, it's blocked by his own player. Luke Moore looked to take a shot, but a red shirt blocked it, but danger isn't gone yet. Taylor out wide. You will need to keep their heads here. Muet. Back towards that far side. Again, they're just driving through. They're cutting Yeovil open. And at the second attempt, again, it's wide. Luke Moore once more. It's one area of his, his play he could really improve on. Tackled by Maguire Drew. And that's a nice ball to Malachi Linton. He needs some help. Worthington's gonna, trying to try and get in the box, but he's going to go on his own. Linton, he shoots. And it's parried wide by the goalkeeper. And it's a, almost a mistake from Staunton and Freckleton but it's good anticipation Brilliant that's game. a lovely ball towards Linton on this right hand side he's got no support though the challenge comes in but Linton wins out can someone get in the box to help him here's Charlie Cooper he shoots oh. not a bad effort from Charlie Cooper it goes wide he looks ready to go although he has just put his coat on but he is in his full kit ready to potentially come on Record misses the header. Seager with the cross in. Bevan is there. Bowen, Bowerman does well. Bowman is going to have a chance to get a cross in at least. Not convincing defending.
Sterling, Joe Taylor, and now Moore! And it's saved it in on the second attempt! And it's a goal! Luke Moore gets his finish! And that could condemn Yeovil to National League South football next season! Grant Smith saved at the first attempt, and then all he had to do was poke it into the bottom corner. They've played so well in this second half, but they find themselves behind again. And Yeovil's season looks to be coming to a very, very poor end. Yeah, I don't actually know who got the final touch there. I think it might have been Jason Pryor. But <laughs> I, I, I wondered if he was offside at first from the rebound. That was a... There's a shot from range, keep Grant Smith parried, and I did wonder if he was offside. Often they're not, but... Jamie Record coming off for Jordan Young. Such a sucker punch, that. That's such a sucker punch. I don't know what happens now. We've got three defenders on the pitch. It looks like a back three with the three centre-backs, Oliver Bori at right wing-back, and I don't know who's going left wing-back. I think it's Callum Harriet, so it's not even wing-back. It's just 3-5-2, but that's such a sucker punch. Isn't it? Yeah. That's a nice ball towards Linton. He's on his own, though, and he's been chased down by Franken, but he does well. He's trying to push to the floor. Is that it's a free kick? Free kick, but surely that's a red card. If he's the last man, man it's, it's definitely a free kick, but surely that's a red card. He's not been at it all game, has he? Franken, and if he stays on the pitch, I think he's a very lucky man indeed. And it, uh, it it's going to be a card, but which colour is it going to be? It has to be red. If he's the last man... He's having a long word with him and Staunton. Leave him alone, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> and Charlie Cooper. Charlie I, I Cooper, of course, I, on, a red, on a yellow. I think the ref's going to bottle it's this. It's a yellow card. Uh, I don't understand. And Mark Cooper is absolutely out of <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a... Jordan Young in-swinger from Jordan Young. Here he is, the young man who's just come on. And it doesn't beat the, the wall. Calls for handball, nothing's given. Can they keep it alive? Four minutes to go. Rivals, and now we're playing Solihull, Wrexham, Oldham, Boreham Wood. Teams who some of them might not have anything to play for, but we're not going to be able to take points off our relegation rivals. And that is the full-time whistle booze ring around Hewish Park. They had 45 minutes to play with 10 men. Charlie Cooper is going straight over to the officiating team to tell him what he thinks of some of the decisions that were made. But in truth, Tiori Johnson sending off could be pivotal in this battle against the drop.